right from the top of the swing, we're looking for that separation of the lower body from the upper body. And that's what's going to allow us to drop the hands, you know, let's call it more from the inside or shallow the club. Okay, Mike, so from the top of the swing, a very common issue that we see with a lot of players is if I put this golf club across my shoulder plane here, that this lead shoulder would dominate this movement and it would go to a position where it essentially, where the end of the grip is pointing, point well ahead of the golf ball at the moment of impact. And we can see that my head from its initial starting position would shift forward a lot. That would normally be coupled with this big over the top movement, correct? Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yep. And with a professional golfer, we would tend to see that from the top of the motion, there would be a falling and recentering the lower body as the head stays stable. The shoulders in space would tend to stay back. Yep. As the lower body would then begin to push up and extend. And at the moment of impact, the shoulders would be relatively square. Right. right. Slightly open, but relatively square for simplicity's sakes. Whereas most amateur golfers are chilling over here somewhere and then they finish like that. <laughs> right. So you were talking just before about a great drill that you use with a lot of players of feeling this under the bridge moment movement here where we feel like the lead shoulder is kind of staying very still. So I just want you to talk about that for a bit. Yeah. And so like, actually, if you wouldn't mind taking your setup for a second there, you know, this is going to demonstrate it. Pop your club across your shoulders again, just like you had it before. If you take it up to the top and stop, and I'm going to put it on your lower body here. When you were demonstrating kind of the move that we're trying to avoid here, it come down into sort of impact for us. You're going to see that the hips and shoulders are going to start to sort of match up. Yeah, so they they're do, equally, yeah. equally open, right? If you keep rotating for me. Okay, so there in that situation, hips and shoulders are almost rotating together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, you know, the drill that, we're, that we use is this under the bridge drill where you straighten out your lead arm. Okay. And with a ball in your right hand, this, this lead arm now with a club here is gonna stabilize the upper body. So there's only so much that I can open my shoulders right now, mm. but I still have the ability to get these hips moving, right? Mm. And so right from the top of the swing, we're looking for that separation of the lower body from the upper body. And that's what's gonna allow us to drop the hands, you know, let's call it more from the inside or shallow the club, yeah. however you want to, to, to refer to it as. Um, but if you wanna take your setup for us and kind of get a feeling for that. So do it with the drill here, left arm, left arm out. Yeah, lead arm out. Perfect, just up to the top. And it's almost like you're gonna throw the ball to me this side, so not even towards the target. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, feel okay. it coming out to yeah, me. Yeah, great, great. So as I do so, what I feel is now my hips, because my intent is to throw something out towards you, my hips are shifting forward in space, which is something that we see with a professional. Then as soon as I get to about here, I can feel my lead hip wanting to go up and around as my arm now moves into a position that I, have, I had a golf club here we go, well, that looks very functional relative right. to what you would see. For me, the feeling is that I've got a bit of right side bend here, my head is staying stable, versus if we were doing the opposite, let's say this big over the top wood chopper motion here, well, straight away we can see that this golf club is going to start to fall towards me, lead shoulder dominates too much. And the club's going to go this way hard on the big way time. through, right? Big time. And so let's talk about this sequence of the golf swing uh, quickly now. I think one of the biggest challenges that a lot of players face is because golf is not a reactive sport and the ball's on the ground, we see that it's not moving. They go, well, the more static I am, the more stuck I am, then that's just going to make it easier to hit the ball. But as a result of doing so, essentially, we see all sorts of issues with the upper and lower body rotation. Right. However, golf, the same as any other sport, still needs to be athletic and dynamic and somewhat reactive to the target, right. not the ball. So just talk about the sequence of the golf swing quickly. If I put a golf club across my chest, what should we see happens with the professional golfer of the lower versus the upper? Yeah, ideally that lower body is gonna to start to shift towards a target, yeah, and start to rotate while the upper body is, let's call it kind of lagging behind in terms of the shoulder rotation. Mm -hmm. This all happens in the blink of an eye, mm -hmm. but you know, if we go back up to the top again, getting that lower body to separate, you can even just start your downswing there, so shift and, a little shift and turn, mm. keeping your back towards the target there for a second, Great yeah, feeling, back yeah. up to the top. Yeah. Feel that again there, shift and turn. And you can feel that separation. Yeah. And if I was to, and this is a great 
visual for players to see. Do that once more, put your hand up against my yeah. shoulder there. As I shift and go down, I am not consciously doing anything with my hands or the shaft. And before you know it, we're achieving that look that everyone tries to force in which the hands are moving in a plane, in a direction, in a path towards the golf ball that you would see the professional and the shaft is shallowing. Right. If we do that once more, put your hand back there, and I try and break through that barrier, all of a sudden we get this big lightning rod and then we exactly. just go on the way down. Spot on. Yeah. Yep. So a great sensation there is to have that golf club in a position where we are standing, we're kind of throwing it, you said out to the right. Is the right part important? Yeah, that's important in particular for these over the top folks because that's going to help you get the feel of let's call it swinging out to right field, you know, swinging yeah. out to sort of one o'clock. Yeah. Um, so it's going to help with path as well. Yeah. And I think that a lot of players are aware of the whole, if I swing over the top and I swing left, I need to swing to the right. But if you don't build awareness of what these shoulders are doing and you're suddenly just still doing this with your lead shoulder going up and around, and then you're trying to force the handle out, <laughs> I'm gonna hit you A number one, <laughs> and then also with the ball because the hosel is still in a position exactly. where I'm firing, I'm gonna have no room. Exactly. So this sequence and this separation between the upper and the lower body, no matter what sport you play, if I'm throwing a ball, as my arm is going back, I'm stepping forward. My hips begin to fire, which then leads to a chain of effect in which my arm would then propel, creating the most amount of force in that direction. It's not like that. Exactly. You would never <laughs> throw a ball like this and then turn, yeah. you know, it's 100% right. Real athletic pose there. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to get a feel here doing this. Now, um, we don't want to get a whole bunch of guys just down at the range doing this and then throwing the ball. It's pretty much the intent of doing so. For sure. One thing I would love for also players to be aware of here is when I am doing this, that's a great reference for your stability of your head throughout the swing as well. Because as soon as this starts to move, you can see your head goes forward, then we're going to be in issues. So essentially where your hand is on the golf club, getting the feeling like you're still creating a normal backswing, but essentially your lead hands on the, the golf club there. Then from there, you're feeling like you shift through and forward as if you're just going to about probably, I would say, halfway through your follow through is a good reference. Exactly. There. Yep. So building that sensation. That feels wonderful. All right. Let's turn it into a shot. Yeah, mate. Felt really good. Lots of room. We can see. Pretty straight shot. Happy oh, days. Nice, <laughs> nice job, mate. <laughs>